Number 5 on this list is an alien attack. Baba Vanga believes that in 2022 we will make our first confirmed public communication with aliens and that it won't go as well as we hope. She says that we will interact with these intelligent beings and that they will send ships to Earth and bomb our cities and take humans as their captives. Now in April 2022, the Defense Department of the United States released videos of what was called an unidentified aerial phenomenon. If you've ever seen the video, then you know that the object was not flying in any way that our technology currently can. It was moving around almost like a dragonfly could, moving seamlessly through the air at extremely fast speeds. Many people have speculated that this was the work of aliens and as of right now we don't have any human explanation for it. It should also be noted that we are always sending out communication waves into space to see if we get anything back. Would I be surprised if 2022 was the year that we got something back? Well, yeah, no, I, I probably would. But I can also see the reality of it happening as well. I also want to point out that our definition of alien kind of implies that something from a different world will come and take over. And that's also what Baba Vanga has insinuated. However, what about AI? Artificial intelligence is a completely different way of thinking than we have and therefore alien to our human brains. I'm not just pulling this out of thin air either, but some experts have started to refer to artificial intelligence as another alien being as it gets smarter and smarter. I could totally see a reality where AI gets smart enough and begins some type of attack on the human race. This wouldn't really fit into the whole narrative of Baba Vanga though because she did state that humans would be taken as captives, but she's also been very vague with some of her predictions before. I think that this prediction is slightly less likely than some of the other ones we're going to talk about, but I can by no means rule it out and have to acknowledge the fact that it might happen. Number 4 on this list is severe famine. Baba Vanga believes that in 2022 severe famine will ravage the world and lead to extreme conflicts that rack up the death toll. Now I want to point out that famine is nothing new and there are a lot of countries that are suffering from this right now. Nigeria, South Sudan, Somalia, these are just a few these are all countries where a large part of the population doesn't have regular access to food and hunger is a daily struggle for these people. And that's just to name a few. However, Baba Vanga's prediction takes it a step further and she believes that this famine will impact a greater portion of the world. She believes that this will happen due to climate change related issues. Climate change has been known to cause problems for the development and upkeep of food before. This manifests itself in a variety of different ways. One is the drastic increase of storms. Climate change causes heavy and dangerous storms to appear more frequently and this will obviously harm any crops that are growing and damage that land where those crops were intended to grow. Higher CO2 levels, and this is something that I actually didn't know, but they reduce the nutritional value of crops that were growing. So even if you grow them and you have high CO2 levels, then you're not going to get nearly as much nutrients as you would have gotten if there was less CO2. I don't want to touch on this one too much because we're going to talk about it in a later entry, but water and the lack of water will make it near impossible to grow any crops. Climate related famine is certainly a possibility and something that I honestly think will happen. I'm not sure if we're going to see it to the scale that Baba Vanga predicts, but I definitely believe that the places that are already struggling, such as the ones that I mentioned earlier, will sadly continue to do so and probably get worse. Number 3 on this list is the further development of virtual reality. Now I need to clarify this because obviously virtual reality will continue to develop. We've already seen major advancements in the last 5 years. Baba Vanga thinks that this is going to take a major leap in 2022 though. She dives straight into a Black Mirror episode and predicts that virtual reality is going to get so advanced that humans will get lost in the world and become trapped in it. Now if this is going to happen then a lot of things will need to change in terms of VR from right now. From my understanding of virtual reality, you throw something on your face and even though you look and you feel as if you're in another place, you're still very aware of your real physical world and if you ever wanted to, you could just take the virtual reality thing off your face and then you're back to regular reality. So the way that they have it set up right now, I don't see any chance of you getting lost in another world because you could just leave whenever you felt like it. However, if we were to develop virtual reality to a point where you become unconscious, 
then I could see how this could work. I think that it would have to be something like in the movie Inception, where you pass out and then you enter this dreamlike state. If there was any way to upload your consciousness to a virtual reality world, then we could definitely get lost in it. For right now, I don't think this is going to happen in 2022, but I think that this is 100% something that could take place in the future. If you've ever watched or played any virtual reality stuff, then you'll notice that the graphics I mean, they're certainly not the ones that we're used to when you're playing Xbox or PlayStation or something. Who knows, maybe the government has some virtual reality technology that is way more advanced than anything available to the public that I don't know about, and that gets released in 2022, and Baba Vanga's prediction does happen. I do feel, though, like this one might take a few decades still. Number two on this list is the appearance of a very dangerous virus from a glacier. Now this is something that I'm going to be talking about in another video as well, but it's simply just too good and too realistic to not bring it up in this one. Baba Vanga believes that due to climate change, glaciers will melt and in those glaciers, a virus will be released that will ravage the planet. This is so scary, not only because COVID has just happened and it's still happening, so diseases are pretty triggering to me, but because there is so much truth to this. I'm sure that we've all heard that glaciers are melting and the sea levels are rising due to climate change. Change. This is already really damaging and bad for the environment, but these glaciers do carry viruses in them as well. Scientists who examine such things have taken samples from glaciers that are thousands of years old. In these samples, they have found traces of viruses and bacteria that have managed to survive in the ice during all of this time. The things that they have found are also unlike anything that we've ever seen before in other viruses. This is a big problem and something that we need to take note of. If we've never seen these viruses, viruses before, then our immune systems have no idea how to handle them. It's like a completely foreign language to our body that has no idea what it is or what it can do. Because of this, it could totally rip through the human race if the outbreak was big enough and it was a contagious virus. Learning a new language takes time and our immune systems might not have that kind of time to adjust to these new diseases. It should also be noted that these viruses might not just affect humans, but maybe it affects animals or plants. Those things wouldn't have the defenses to deal with this either and might not be able to sustain themselves. This could collapse the whole ecosystem, which in turn could collapse the whole human race. Basically, this is something that needs to be dealt with ASAP because the damage it could cause could be irreversible. Number one on this list is a lack of drinking water. Baba Vanga has predicted that in 2022, the world will suffer from a lack of clean water and that water will in turn become a very expensive and highly sought after resource. This prediction from Baba Vanga is honestly not that far-fetched at all and I believe could have a lot of truth to it. The global population is rising every single day and at the time of making this video, there is 7.75 billion people on the planet. That's almost a billion more than what we had in 2010 and this dramatic increase of the population will just continue to rise and rise. Every additional person that is born and living on this planet needs to have clean drinking water to survive and as of right now, we are not replenishing that clean water as fast as we're using it up. Mexico City, one of the bigger cities in the world, is located on top of an ancient fresh water basin. This is not being refilled though, and as the city uses its water, it's beginning to sink. In fact, the city as a whole is sinking roughly nine inches per year, which really starts to add up after a while if you think about it. California is going through something similar, and has suffered a very serious drought over the last few years. Even after they got hit with some extremely heavy rainfall to counteract this, it still didn't do enough to refill what they had lost. We also have to factor in that fresh water isn't just used for our drinking, but also for the food that we eat. All of the vegetation that we grow requires fresh water to thrive. The animals that we breed, they need to drink water too. Basically, water is one of our most precious resources and we are surely running out of it. A lack of drinking water would not only hurt our vegetation and us, but the amount of wars that it would incite and conflicts that it would cause, it would be massive. 
I can't say for certain that 2022 will be the year that it all comes crashing down, but Baba Vanga believes that it certainly could be. Number 5. Oh great, more viruses. Considering how ill-prepared we turned out to be for the last super virus that ravaged the world, the idea of more viruses in the future is somehow equal parts terrifying and exhausting. Baba Vanga actually predicts a few different viruses will come to light, but the soonest will not affect humans, though it is still disturbing. According to Baba, in 2023, birds will be subjected to a deadly virus that will transmit through both the air and contaminated water. It will spread incredibly fast, wiping out entire flocks in weeks and leaving many species of bird on the brink of extinction. Scientists will apparently scramble to try and find a cure for our avian friends, but the now common sight of a flock of birds flying through the air will become a distant memory. This doesn't directly affect humans, but considering how much chicken we as a species eat, this will be a tough loss if it comes to pass. The next virus Baba Vanga predicts will apparently take hold in 2088 and will be unlike anything we've ever seen. It won't cause humans to have trouble breathing or for their immune systems to be compromised, but will apparently cause people to age extremely rapidly, resulting in a young person in their 20s looking like a senior citizen within a few seconds. This virus will apparently be an issue for humanity for almost 10 years when it is apparently extremely exterminated in 2097. We will then apparently get a break from pandemics, until the year 2256, when a rocket sent to explore the deepest parts of the cosmos will return to Earth carrying an intergalactic virus. Hopefully, this virus won't be too intense as a universal cure for all diseases isn't predicted until the year 4304. Though by then, Baba Vanga says that humans will no longer live on Earth, but on Mars. So make of that what you will. Number 4. A Dangerous Bioweapon In 1925, the Geneva Convention decided to ban the use of biological weapons in war, with all the countries making a promise to never, under any circumstances, develop, produce, stockpile, or otherwise acquire or retain contain microbial or other biological agents or toxins, whatever their origin or method of production, of types and in quantities that have no justification for prophylactic, protective, or other peaceful purposes. They also agreed not to develop weapons, equipment, or means of delivery designed to use such agents or toxins for hostile purposes or in armed combat. For the most part, the countries of the world have stuck to this agreement, other than some outliers such as the Soviet Union and Iraq. Unfortunately. One of Baba Vanga's other predictions for 2023 says that a large country will begin testing a new bioweapon. She is sparse on the details, but if this is true, which of the large nations will be carrying out the test? Will it be Russia, the United States, China? Who? And what is the nature of this bioweapon? Does it contain lab-grown viruses that could wreak havoc on humanity, or some other deadly mutagen that could permanently alter the DNA of its victims? Although she has had a few predictions that came true, Baba Vanga also said that World War III would begin in 2010, and that by 2016, Europe would become an empty wasteland. So hopefully, this is one of the predictions that turns out to not be true, as the idea of chemical weapons being unleashed this year is simply too much for me to deal with on top of everything else going on. Number 3. A Change in the Earth's Orbit There's a lot of wonderful things to like about the planet Earth. Lush fields, flowing water, and its orbit exactly where it should be. Which is quite an underrated but fantastic trait of the big blue marble we call home. Baba Vanga made another worrying prediction about the state of the Earth for 2023. She predicted that somehow, something is going to knock Earth off of its orbit forever. Now, it should go without saying that something knocking Earth off of its orbit would be very bad. If Earth somehow was thrown off its orbit by some terrible force, it would wreak incalculable havoc. Countries would be thrown into cycles of days and nights that would last not for hours, but for months at a time. Think of the damage that would be caused. Unending daylight would lead to mass sleep deprivation, global anxiety, as well as incalculable damage to our flora, fauna, and wildlife. Crops would be ravaged and burnt, leading to a global famine. Unending days would lead to temperatures doubling, melting the ice caps at an even faster rate than they already are. This would result in massively rising sea 
sea levels and the flooding of coastal cities. Unending night wouldn't be much better, as it would make things very cold, and plant life would have no way to achieve the necessary photosynthesis, resulting in crop failures and once again, countless deaths. Interestingly, this is a recognized phenomenon called a polar night, and there's a town in Norway that experiences something like this. In Tromsø, the sun doesn't rise from November to January. While this is fine for a Norwegian town, a polar night taking place in the bread bowl is a recipe for disaster, and that's not even mentioning how much easier that would make it for vampires to attack us. Number 2. A Solar Storm With all the rather dire predictions made by Baba Vanga, it could be tempting to call her a pessimist. One of her more devastating predictions for the year ahead is that we will experience what is known as a solar storm. A solar storm refers to phenomena taking place on the surface of the sun, such as coronal mass ejections or solar flares. If one of these coronal mass ejections were to reach Earth, it would cause a geomagnetic storm that would have horrible consequences for our technology-reliant world. This kind of storm has happened before on Earth, in 1859, in what has since been called the Carrington Event, due to the work of astronomer Richard Carrington. It resulted in telegraph networks being knocked out, as well as people using electronics being electrocuted and even some pretty nasty fires. But it would be much worse if it happened today. Imagine, if you will, a world where all of the technology you take for granted was suddenly fried and unusable. Suddenly, internet access and records would be lost. Communication systems that we have come to rely on to keep our world running would become useless blocks of dead machinery. A world of darkness where chaos reigns and the financial markets are suddenly put into a dramatic tailspin that we could not even begin to reverse the effects of for years. Think of the chaos that took place relatively recently in Texas when the power grid went down, and imagine what would happen if that took place all over the world. The effect of this happening now could be no less than the total collapse of modern society. This is one of the most plausible predictions made by Baba Vanga, as some scientists say that since this kind of solar activity has happened before, we are overdue for it to happen again, and that is a matter not of if, but rather of when it happens. Considering the disastrous global consequences of one of these severe solar storms, let us hope that Baba Vanga is incorrect in her prediction that this will happen in 2023. Number 1. An Alien Invasion One of Baba Vanga's most surprising predictions for 2023 is that this is the year we will make contact with visitors from another world. Unfortunately for us, these visitors will apparently not be coming in peace. She says that aliens will attack the Earth, and that during their invasion, they will use technology in order to prevent us from using electricity for three days and three nights, and that the Earth will be plunged into total darkness, with neither the moon or the stars being visible. We've already gone over how reliant we are on technology in the previous entry, so imagine how difficult it would be for us to suddenly be thrown back to the Stone Age, and then have to try and fight an alien race who have extremely advanced technology, as well as a desire to kill us. Baba Vanga claims that this will not be the end of the species as a whole, and that 10,000 of us will survive. But Considering that we currently have a planet-wide population of 7.8 billion people, 10,000 survivors indicates only a 1.28% survival rate, meaning that for all practical purposes, it would be the end of the world as we know it. Apparently, peace with extraterrestrials is something we will eventually achieve, as Baba Vanga predicts that in the year 2130, aliens will be helping us to construct underwater cities, which will manage to become autonomous by producing their own power and food by 2195. These underwater cities are even more impressive when you consider that Baba Vanga also predicts that the Earth will become dry and desertified by 2170. Baba Vanga also predicts that in the year 2288, humanity will discover time travel, and that this is when aliens and humans will make contact. Which is interesting, as she already said that the first contact in war with the aliens would happen 265 years prior. And if this is first contact, who are the aliens helping us build the underwater cities on the dry desert planet of Earth 158 years earlier in 2130. Do all these contradictions have anything to do with the time travel we will discover? Truly, Baba Vanga gets more and more mysterious as time goes by. Number 5. One of the earliest on Baba's prediction list is that by 2023, Earth will have shifted sufficiently enough to alter its orbit. And we don't fully know what she means by that, but I can tell you that if Earth's orbit were to change at all, the consequences would be absolutely disastrous. 
I'm not entirely sure how Earth is supposed to shift orbit. Maybe we're all going to get too heavy, we'll throw the gravity off, maybe we're jumping around too much. Anyway, the universe works in a very specific way. It's very finely crafted. Everything is exactly where it should be. And if that balance gets thrown off, it'll affect, well, you know, just about everything. The Earth shifting its orbit would immediately result in increased temperatures, soaking the world in radiation. Increased temperatures would lead to glaciers melting, sea levels rising, and that usually leads into chaos across the globe. Of course, if we shifted off our orbit, it wouldn't stop there. We'd also experience a new ice age and crushing periods of extended darkness, which would spell disaster in ways we couldn't even comprehend on the ecosystems. And most worrisome of all, we would basically give vampires a key to the Earth. I have to assume that our position in the solar system is the only thing preventing them from taking over right now. Like I mentioned, this is supposedly supposed to occur in 2023, so luckily we can find out really soon if this one is coming true, and for all of our sakes, I sincerely hope not. Number 4. Another claim for 2023 is that we will experience the end of natural live births altogether. Vanga claimed that going forward, all birthing will be done in laboratories. World leaders will decree what the people of each nation should look like, and they will be able to finely tune their physical and appearances like we're all characters in The Sims. Well, that actually might be kind of fun. Do you think we'll be able to do that after we've already been born? Wouldn't mind customizing myself up a little bit, you know, tighten up the jaw, add a couple cool scars, maybe one over the eye like Geralt. This one is definitely a bit out there compared to some of the other ones on the list, but there is some truth to the words. The birth rate is declining right now. In 1950, the birth rate was 36.9% per 1,000 people, while now it's only 18.5%. And some analysts predict by 2050 it could dip as low as 14.6%. So maybe in the future we will start to see more of a push towards this kind of thing. Lab birth and all that. That bit about world leaders deciding what their people look like though, I don't know about that. I feel like people would disagree with that. What if the current leader only wants children that look like Danny DeVito? You're really going to wait nine months for a Danny DeVito baby? A whole society of DeVitos run it? No, actually, the more I'm talking about this, I want this. This is a prediction I hope comes true. Number three. Another of her predictions say that by the year 2046, technology will have advanced sufficiently enough that the average life expectancy will raise past 100 due to rises in organ transplant technology and prosthetic and cybernetic implants. Now that is something I can really get into. I have been wanting cybernetic everything since I saw Luke get that sweet robot hand in Star Wars. This technology has been advancing with every year, with the stuff of former sci-fi legend becoming more and more practical and real. The prediction goes on to state that in the near future, organs will be grown and sold like any other product, developed en masse and distributed internationally. The ramifications of that would be unbelievable. Imagine for a minute how many illnesses and diseases would just disappear overnight if you were able to order a new kidney on Amazon and have it delivered to your house the next day. While we're not quite at the level where we're 3D printing lungs and shipping them out, scientists have actually been experimenting with growing human organs in labs, with liver buds being grown from human stem cells. Now the technology is still pretty far off, with these little mini organoids lacking key features that real organs do like, you know, growing, mostly being used to study for now, but in some cases, these lab-grown organs have actually been transplanted into mice successfully. So who's to say what progress will look like in the next 10 years' time? Well, Baba Vanga, I guess she's the one to say, that's why we're doing this. Number two. Another of Baba's predictions is that the world will experience something called a solar tsunami. And if the name isn't enough of an indicator, it really does not sound that pleasant. So if you are picturing a delightful wave of summer sun, why don't you keep thinking that? A solar storm is a burst of energy from the sun which sends electrical charges, magnetic fields, and radiation towards the Earth. This effect is what creates the northern lights, which are very pretty, but the solar tsunami Vanga predicted would be one of cataclysmic proportions, claiming that it would be powerful as billions upon billions of nuclear weapons descending on the Earth. Solar storms are predicted to cause mass damage to technology, causing worldwide blackouts, with some doomsayers going so far as to say that it could cause a worldwide technological shutdown, sending humanity back to the Dark Ages might be the first thing to get me off my phone for five minutes, so maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing. This kind of thing does occur already on a much smaller scale, with some smaller solar waves causing radio blackouts, but luckily, nothing on a massive scale of a full-blown solar tsunami has occurred yet. 
Baba Vanga never gave a time or a date for when she thought the solar tsunami would occur, just that it was on the horizon for humanity and we should be expecting it I guess sometime. So I guess keep checking the weather app and uh, if it shuts down while you're checking it and all the lights turn off in your house, uh, yeah that's probably a bad sign, maybe I don't know, get into the bunker, stock up on tuna and beans. Number one, I know we just did a virus, well keep the masks around maybe. Because before her passing, Baba Vanga predicted that due to climate change melting the ice around the world, a new virus would be discovered in Siberia and the world would experience another pandemic. I don't know, a sequel that's similar to the first? I feel like it's been done before, kinda played out. Well, in July 2021, a team of researchers discovered within two samples of ice from the Tibetan plateau that contained ancient viruses, locked away and preserved in the virus like the mosquito from Jurassic Park in the amber. According to the analysts, these ice samples were at least 15,000 years old. The researchers also discovered embedded within the ice samples were 33 viral genetic codes. While four of the codes were recognized viruses that usually attack bacteria, the remaining 28 genetic codes were novel, meaning that this is the first time they've been discovered, like a time capsule just full of stuff to make you cough. Now, I realize this video has been kind of heavy, and yeah, some of these predictions might be starting to stress you out, so let me take the edge off just a little bit and I'll read off some more of Baba Vanga's predictions in a quick lightning round. 2288 will see the creation of time travel, although if this one is true, surely we'd be no by now, right? By 3797, all humans will have left the earth entirely. By 4599, technology will have advanced so much that mankind will achieve immortality and defy death itself. And by 5079, Baba Vanga predicted that the universe as a whole will end. Well, that kind of sucks. Does our immortality outweigh the universe ending? Uh, when that happens, can someone use the time travel that we invented to go back and, and let me know? Thank you if you do. I will be expecting an answer yesterday. Dear Sweet Granny Vanga had a prediction for just about everything. Is Vanga's prediction that by 2088, the Earth will be exposed to a new strain of virus unlike any other experience before, allegedly capable of aging a human being in a matter of seconds. That's not known how the virus spreads or manifests, just that once you're infected, you'll age up rapidly and the next thing you know you'll be in a retirement castle. Sounds very useful if you're trying to get into an R-rated movie as a kid and horrifying under literally any other context. Now if Vanga's prediction is already making your hair go prematurely gray, you should know that she also predicted by the year 2046 that humans would live well past 100 with a combination of organ transplants and cybernetic parts, so maybe aging up isn't that big a deal. Maybe by then technology will have advanced enough and we can just flip a switch and age back down like Benjamin Button. At least we've got upwards of the next 60 years to get a handle on this. Allegedly by the year 2097 the disease is eradicated. Or maybe we can all just improve our skincare routines a little bit. I hear removing wrinkles does wonders to reverse the aging process. Number four, aliens. As always, if you dig what we do here on Top 5 Scary, make sure to hit that like button or comment down below which predictions she said that's got you shook. Vangelia has hit the nail on the head a couple of times now, huh? Why aren't there more people talking about her? We need some Netflix budget original movies about her, people, let's go. It's scary to think that beyond the grave, there have been people throughout our history who still continue to defy the odds. She's the Nostradamus of our time. Well, apparently she's called a couple things beyond our galaxy as well. And recently, quote, the invasion of Earth by aliens with the arrival of an asteroid. Uh, yeah, she just called that. I got about 46 hours last night on Reddit alone of aliens zipping around our atmosphere, but she's specific specific. She added asteroids into the mix. The blind mystic alleged that an asteroid named Amuamua would be sent by aliens to seek life out on planet Earth. Well, it just so happens there, Baba, that Avi Loa, that the University of Harvard and the Galileo Project, yeah, they're convinced themselves as well. And remember that rock anomaly that buzzed through our orbit and then out again in 2017? Again? Yeah, like nobody's talking about this. How did she predict the name though? Like, can we get a deep dive on that? Is that true? She also predicts that by 2130, all civilizations will learn how to live underwater with the help of aliens. In in other words, we're sending underwater probes to Europa next year, so I don't know, maybe? Baba Vanga smack dab in 2023 predicts that somehow the Earth's orbit will quote, change. I mean, if we do that, the planet will be a total cataclysm, but maybe she was talking about NASA's DART program that just smashed into an asteroid like last week? 
In the year 2111, Vanga predicts that we will start to cast off the weakness of our flesh and embrace the strength and certainty of steel to claim the purity of the blessed machine. Yes, of course, Vanga speaks to the Omnissiah and says that in the next century, technology and medical science will have advanced so, so, so sufficiently that humanity will become more mechanical than organic, which could take a little adjusting. Might want to watch yourself shaking hands if the guy you're shaking hands with has a titanium alloy with a hydraulic piston grip. Now, maybe I'm in a minority here, but this is actually a prediction I can very much get down with. I have been wanting cybernetic parts for pretty much as long as I can remember. I would probably redo all of this and chip in as much as possible. It goes in line with Vanga's prediction of humanity living to unreached life expectancy and achieving wondrous strides in science and technology. Of all of Vanga's many predictions, this one seems the most likely to me. I mean, we're already making such incredible leaps in prosthetic technology. Things like a cybernetic hand, which once seemed like something out of Star Wars make-believe, but in the last decade, we've already seen advancements in the field of prosthetics, like limbs that move and ambulate like any other limb, controlled by the brain. And even recently, scientists and specialists have started to make progress on cybernetic hands capable of feeling touch, responding to heat. It's more likely than not that by the year 2111, like she outlined, we will start to see implants like that commonplace. Of course, who's to say what kind of new social problems that'll cause? Cybernetic discrimination? Ethics debates? All I know is that if we are going to start enhancing ourselves, and mechanically alternating ourself, I definitely want in, immediately. Number two, washed up. Yeah, so again, uh, the Long Island medium has got nothing on Baba Vanga. Speaking of Long Islands, some are disappearing and some are being created as we speak right now. Hurricane Ian is absolutely devastating the south right now, blasting all kinds of mess through the Golden Coast. Tsunamis and flooding is one of Baba Vanga's more worrying predictions though, as she has predicted a cataclysmic tsunami that would strike this year. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up, I guess. Baba is said to have first warned the world of a deadly 2004 tsunami that unfortunately took more than 200,000 lives in Southeast Asia. She then said to have warned of a similar cataclysmic event in the future in 2021, quote, difficult times will come, people will be divided by their faith, we are witnessing devastating events that will change in fate the destiny of our humanity, end quote. That just sounds like a Michael Bay movie summary. This tsunami prediction was said to hit in 2020, then 2021. Are we just late with all these floods down south right now on the calendar wise? Like, do we forget a leap year here or there? What's going on? Satellite images from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration showed beach houses, cottages, even hotels on the shores of Florida that had been demolished by flooding waters. Hit the Carolinas, Virginia, Florida, Cuba, Puerto Rico. More than 2,000 people have since been rescued, according to Florida's emergency, as a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 150 miles. An hour. The National Guard, the Coast Guard, they're both working together right now. Ian is expected to slowly weaken this week as it heads inland to the north, but supposed to bring heavy rain and flooding to the mid Atlantic. A flood watch is now in effect for a large portion of the south. Does it say anywhere that we make it out of this mess? Fires, floods, aliens? Like, give us a place to donate, would you? Our number one spot for the scariest prediction by Baba Vanga is, well, the outright end of the universe. That's kind of a hard one to top. Now, don't run to the calendar just to check yet how long we've got left, because some good news is that. Even if Baba Vanga is correct, it won't happen in your lifetime, or your kid's lifetime, or your grandkid's lifetime, or your great-grandkid's lifetime. With Vanga predicting that the end of all of this and everything is going to happen around the year 5,709. So we got a long way off to go before that happens. Before the curtains close on this whole existence thing, Vanga predicts that things are going to get pretty wild before the end. Apparently by the year 5,706, our knowledge of the stars will be so vast that we'll be able to chart the entire known universe right to the edge of the galaxy. A few years later, in the year 5078, Vanga predicts that we're going to try and venture out past the Milky Way to see what else there is in our ever-expanding cosmos and try to explore outside of our galaxy. Now, allegedly 60% of the human population volunteers to brave the new frontier past Andromeda, while the remaining 40% feel pretty comfortable in this universe and elect to stay at home. I'm probably the same way, to be honest. If I'm still ticking around 5,078, I'm probably just gonna stick around here. This universe has all my stuff in it. Vanga interestingly didn't specify how it would end. I guess some things have to be left up for surprises. I wouldn't want the ending spoiled anyway. Just that in 5,709, it would be the end of human civilization and the Earth as we know it. It's stressful, definitely, but uh, at least it's not happening for a little bit, you know? We've got some time to plan. 